Uh, all right, guys, Ashley Wesley here for you. Final one, Sam Spencer, go ahead. Captain, uh, congrats on the match. Thank you, sir. Um, so how important was getting this game after the Red Bull game on Wednesday? It was massive. And I, I said it before, I said it's the, in football, you always get, you always get an opportunity to put things right and they come around quickly. And like I said, today we were, we were excellent. We were unlucky to concede the first goal, but the character we showed to come back, get, we got, we got ourselves back in it at, at half time, And then second half, we were, we looked a real threat going forward. And like I said, Leo's come up with, with two moments of magic and, and what is the game? And how is, you know, this match playing against uh, an Atlanta team that had an amazing Wednesday, um, is is there any, you know, expectation coming in or, uh, you know, were you just uh, ready to come in and play your game? No, we knew we knew what we needed to do. Like I said, they, they had a great result on Wednesday, but I think the energy we play with, not many teams can match us, the way, the way we run around for each other, the way we fight for each other. And like I said, we we drove in, we drove into the stadium and we saw the we saw three thousand of our fans walking the streets and it was it gives you a big gives you a big boost. And then we come out onto the field to check to check the pitch and they're up there singing. So tonight was all for them and I thank them for, for making the long journey and supporting us. And then finally tonight was the uh Charlotte's first game during Pride Month. Uh Atlanta was wearing the tops. Um uh, can you uh just say any message that you have to Charlotte FC's uh, LGBT fans and supporters during Pride Month? Yeah, I'm a huge supporter of it, a big supporter. Like I said, I've got my wife's, my wife's niece is, is part of that group. So I'm a, I'm a big believer in it. And I'm sure our next home game will be, we'll be doing our bit as well. Thanks. Cheers. And have a safe trip. Thank you. John Lane. Hey, congrats on the win. Um, Thank you, John. How do you um, bounce back after, and after a quick turnaround after a loss on the road? I mean, that was, you know, a really strange game with a lightning delay, giving up three goals. Um, could you speak to, you know, the last three days preparing for this game? It was, uh, well, we thought the performance was was very good on Wednesday night. Like I said, we we created probably our best opportunities to score goals. But so you have you have them nights. But like I said, it was about, it was about reacting and, and bouncing back and showing and showing character, I must say, Pat was Pat. I think I don't know if you saw the penalty the other night for Pat. He, he almost broke his ankle, and for him to put himself, put put his body on the line today he was incredible. He's he's not trained for for two days. The physios have worked their magic, and like I said, he put in a performance that you wouldn't know he had anything wrong with him. So it just shows what the character we've got in this group, and like I said, testament to him. That's what being a footballer is all about, and he led the line incredible again tonight. Yeah, and I saw um, a stat. Um, today during the game that it looks like um, you've covered the second most distance in the league um, so far in games. I'm just wondering how you're feeling and is there any part of you that's looking forward to this bit of an extended break? I'm, I'm ready for this break. Yeah, it's uh, but I think it can almost break your momentum. It's I, I love playing midweek games. It gives you a, a hate training. So it gives you a it gives you the momentum of playing games. You get into a rhythm, and once you're in that rhythm, it's hard to it's hard to stop. Well, but I'm looking forward to the break. I'm sure we'll we'll certainly as a, as a group of lads will enjoy this victory, and we'll enjoy the break. And then after that, we'll we'll get back to hard work again. Yeah, and last one for me. Um, I mentioned this to Dean earlier. I know away days are very different uh, here in the MLS than they are um, back home. But what did it mean? I know you spoke a little bit about this to Sam's question. What did it mean just to have support um, on the road? Um, over 2,000 people, I think. Um, I'm sure it was a little bit louder than some other road games. Yeah, it was like I said, we felt it as soon as we walked, as soon as we got the bus into the stadium. We saw we managed to time it right. We walked past the fans, and I think it gave everyone a give everyone a lift. Uh, a great lift to see them, and like I said, I said it before. We when we walked out onto the field before the checking the pitch before we even kicked off, they were they were singing. So they turned up in their numbers, and like I said, we we got the win. The win was all for them tonight, and we've got a great a great supporters who who really buy into this team, and we've got a great connection now as a as a football club. And like I said, they they see the hard work we put in. We know how how much they work to to spend their money and, and watch us play. So it's. It's only right for us to give give them enjoyment back. All right. Congrats again. Safe travels thanks, back. John. Okay. Thanks, guys. Sorry, but we've got to catch a flight. So, got to cut it off. Sorry, Bridget.
Cool. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you.